Are you confused about the many types of RF connectors available? Do you find it difficult to determine the difference between the male and the female connectors? Well, I was. So stick around and I'll do my best to clear up some of the mystery about these RF connection types. Hello, I'm Steve and welcome to K4SRF Ham Radio. I'm going to cover some of the uh, most common RF connectors used today in the ham radio hobby. If you're like me, all these different de uh, types of connectors may be confusing, especially determining the difference between the male and female connector types. Hopefully, I can clear up some of the uh, mystery around these connection types. Now, I won't be covering every single connector type on the market, nor will I be going to do uh, detail regarding the specifications of these connectors. This is something you'll have to do on your own. My intent in this video is to give you a brief synopsis of the most common connector types and how to identify them. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a PL259 connector here, shown here with the adapter. These connectors are one of the most common connectors. They accommodate coax such as RG213 and LMR400. The adapter shown will allow smaller diameter cables such as RG8 and RG58 to be used with this connector. This connector is considered a male connector. Now this connector is the SO239, again one of the most common RF connectors used. This connector is used primarily with the PL259 connector. The SO239 connector is considered a female connector. This is the type N connector. And here there are two types of N connectors, male on the left and female on the right. As you can see, this type of connector has some similarities with the PL259 and the SO239. This is why, for some new in the hobby, these connectors might be confused with the PL259 and SO239 connectors. This is a BCN connector. On the left is a male, shown with an adapter and on the right is a female. This uh, type of adapter is usually used with smaller diameter coax cables and they're also used as a quick connect and disconnect type of uh, coax connector. Now this is the SMA uh, connector and this is where things start to get a little confusing. On the left we have the SMA male and the right is the female. Simple looking enough, right? So what's so confusing? Well, how does reverse polarity grab you? What is reverse polarity? Well, reverse polarity is a variation of the SMA or connector. It's in the specification that reverses the gender of the interface itself. So, exactly what does reverse polarity do? Well, reverse polarity is a variation of the SMA connector specifications. The genders of the interfaces on the male and the female are reversed. The term reverse polarity refers only to the gender of the connector's uh, contact pin and not to the signal polarity itself. The reverse polarity was developed primarily to separate professional grade and commercially grade components and equipment. This was to comply with the regulations that the FCC had set forth. In addition, reverse polarized connectors would not be readily available or accessible to the general consumer. It was also created so they would not try to, uh, or try to, or be able to connect certain gain components or equipment. However, since its conception, the rules have changed. Today, reverse polarity connectors are readily available to both professionals as well as to the general consumer. This also allows more uh, design options available for most people. Now this brings us to the topic of SMA adapters. As you can see here, there are many. I will not go into the specifications of these adapters as it would be enough material to create a whole separate video on its own. The only suggestion I can give you in regarding these adapters is to carefully study what adapter you are looking for. Too often the wrong adapter is chosen. For example, do you need a BNC male to SMA female or was that a BNC male to a reverse polarity SMA male? Now you get my idea. Admittedly, more than once I have uh, given adapters serious thought only to have ordered the wrong one. But I guess this is one way of supplying uh, your ham shock with most every type of adapter you could possibly need. The last connector I'll be discussing is a TNC connector. 
The TNC connector is a threaded version of the BNC connector and offers a higher frequency performance than its counterpart, counterpart the BNC. Like the SMA adapters, TNC adapters have a reverse polarity counterpart as well. Like the SMA, the reverse polarity adapters are simply a reverse of the gender for the adapter. In other words, the male adapter will have a female gender while the female gender will have a male gender. While there are many more types of adapters on the market, they are not going to be discovered in this video. This is just a brief introduction to the major players in the adapter market. My advice to you is to do your homework and do your own research. This is the only way they can truly be sure that you are getting the correct adapter for your needs. I hope I've given you some useful information when it comes to choosing the correct adapter for the requirements needed. If you find this information helpful, please subscribe and click the bell for future videos. Also, if you like, give it a thumbs up for my efforts in bringing this information to you. Thanks again for watching. This is Steve in 73 for now, and we'll catch you on the air.